Oh, hello there. Do you ever wake up in the morning telling yourself... I want to know more about tentacles. Well, you're a weirdo, but I like you. And you know what? You're in the right place because I am Nemo. And today in Krakenology, we're gonna talk cephalopods. Sorry, I'm just very excited about this. So, who are the cephalopods? The cephalopods form a class in the molluscan phylum, and they include animals such as octopus, squid, cuttlefish, or nautilus, among others. They are sea creatures, so you will never find them in fresh water, but you can find them anywhere else, from cold arctic waters to the tropical seas, but also from shallow waters to the darkness of the abyss. They come in a variety of size, from the pygmy squid, which is approximately the length of my thumb, to the giant squid, 13 meter long, or approximately three cars. They also come at different level of cuteness, from the flapjack octopus, to the big fin squid. Their name comes from the Greek kephalo, which means head, and poda, which means feet. If you put those two together, you get this abomination. Help me. Get out. Here we go. Cephalopods are called this way because their body is in appearance divided in two parts, the head and the feet. The feet are actually called arms or tentacles. The difference between arms and tentacle is that arms have suckers from the base to the tip, while tentacle only have suckers on the tip. Those suckers are chemosensitive, which means that cephalopods can literally taste what they are touching. Fortunately for cephalopods, nature is well made, and you cannot find lemons in the ocean. The head is actually here, what is behind is called the mantle, and in this cavity you will find the majority of the organs. Those guys have three hearts. One is called systematic, and it pumps the oxygenated blood throughout the body, while the two branchial hearts push the oxygen depleted blood through the gills. Their blood uses hemocyanin to carry oxygen, and this protein being copper-based, their blood is blue instead of red. Cephalopods have the biggest brain-to-body ratio among all invertebrates. And interestingly, their esophagus runs through the center of their brain. Cephalopods also have camera-like eyes, just like vertebrates. And Mr. Chameleon, you thought you were the king of camouflage, and I'm sorry buddy, the title goes to cephalopods. Their skin is full of pigment sacs called chromatophores. They can expand and contract under the direct control of the brain. This allows cephalopods to change color in a fraction of a second with incredible results. Most cephalopods can squirt ink as a defensive behavior. Also cephalopods have parrot-like beaks. Some of them have symbiotic relationship with bioluminescent bacteria. Others have extremely dangerous venom. Even though cephalopods have remarkable, if not alien-like features, some of their capabilities are very, very similar to mammalian and vertebrates in general. And this convergence is even crazier when you think about the evolutionary distance between vertebrates and mollusks. By the way, I will do a video on my channel about basic taxonomy, explaining how to name, define, and classify different living organisms. Because I know, sometimes it can be pretty confusing. You can see that cephalopods are relatively far from humans. Our last common ancestor lived around 600 million years ago. And our lineages split when deuterostomian and protostomian diverge. The difference between the two is that during embryonic development, the first opening that is created, which is called blastopore, will become the anus in deuterostomian while in protostomian it will become the mouth. The deuterostomian lineage will give rise to echinoderms like starfish or sea urchins, but also to chordates like fish and humans. So yeah, I'm sorry to bring this to you this way, but all you were at a certain point in development was a bunch of cells forming a little tiny anus. But don't worry, you look better now. On the other hand, protostom gave rise to insects, crustaceans, annelids, and mollusks, including cephalopods. 
It is incredible to see how much we have in common with cephalopods, especially knowing that our common ancestor probably didn't have a brain, closed cardiovascular system, or camera-like eyes. Today, cephalopods have a very important role as comparative model to vertebrates. Studying cephalopods can allow us to understand the fundamental mechanisms behind the evolution of complex systems. So taking all of that into consideration, it is very easy for us today to ask ourselves how smart are cephalopods, do they have personality, do they have consciousness, or do they dream? But you know what? Let's stop talking about evolution and let's see how you can easily differentiate different cephalopods. Nautiluses are the easy one. They're the ones with a shell, which is filled with a gas for buoyancy. Not to be confused with the paper nautilus or argonaut, which is actually an octopus. Octopuses are also pretty easy. They only have eight arms. Most of them have a round mantle with no fins. They don't have an inner shell. Cuttlefish have 10 appendages, 8 arms and 2 tentacles. The tentacles can be retracted inside pockets, so you can only see them when they are catching prey. They have W-shaped eyes and an inner shell called cuttlebone. If you look at the mantle from above, they have more of an oval shape. They also have fins like squids. Squids also have 8 arms and 2 tentacles. Some of them have tentacles pocket and some don't. Squids don't have W-shaped popples and they also have a shape more elongated compared to cuttlefish. There are so many cephalopods and so many aspects of their lifestyle that I would like to talk about and obviously I cannot do it in one single video. So stay tuned because this is only the beginning of Krakenology. I want to thank all my patrons from Patreon, Tentacle Duck, Town Town and Anita. And I also want to thank everybody who has been buying t-shirts and other merchandise on my shop. Your help is very much appreciated and very useful for the channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.